straight from there. Yellowstone volcano hit by more than 1,000 earthquakes in ongoing swarm. More than 1,000 earthquakes have now been recorded as part of the ongoing earthquake at Yellowstone Volcano since January. Jamie Farrell, research assistant professor in the Department of Geology and Geophysics at the University of Utah, said that earthquake swarms appear to have periods of increased activity before becoming less active. By far, the flock is most active between late August and mid-September. In September alone, for example, the swarm, located about 12 miles southwest of Mammoth Hot Springs near Grizzly Lake, caused more than 500 earthquakes. In October, the University of Utah recorded 238 earthquakes as part of this swarm, out of a total of 344 earthquakes that occurred throughout the Yellowstone region. The Yellowstone region is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States. Since 1973, more than 50,000 earthquakes have been recorded in the region, although most of them were too small to be felt by humans. Yellowstone National Park, which stretches across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, is at the peak of a large, relatively young, and active volcanic system often referred to as the Yellowstone Super Volcano. This system features boiling magma, underground molten rock, and pressurized water, as well as various active faults. The Yellowstone region experiences an average of 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes each year, and about half occur as clusters. An earthquake swarm is an event where many seismic events occur in an area within a relatively short period of time without being accompanied by a main shock. This year, the ongoing flocking near Grizzly Lake has resulted in more than 1,000 events and counting. According to Farrell, the quakes started in small clusters in January, but most of the quakes occurred in the second half of the year. Earthquakes in the cluster have not been recorded with magnitudes greater than 3.9, which is considered small. An earthquake of this magnitude may be felt but rarely causes damage. Most of the earthquakes that occur in this cluster are much weaker, many of them are invisible to humans and can only be detected with seismometers. The phenomenon of earthquake swarms in volcanic areas does not only occur in Yellowstone. There are several theories as to why these swarms occur. But in volcanic areas, the most common source is fluid movement in the Earth's crust, according to Farrell. This fluid can come from various sources, magma, water, gas, etc., he said. The most likely cause is water flowing through the Earth's crust, but we cannot be 100% sure about this. Across Yellowstone, the University of Utah has recorded more than 2,100 earthquakes since January 1st of this year which is within the annual average range. With two months remaining in 2022, in 2021, a total of 2,773 earthquakes were recorded in the region, according to the United States Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory Annual Report. Although this figure is higher than the 1,722 earthquakes recorded in 2020, it is not far outside the historical average range. The largest swarm of 2021 consisted of 825 events that occurred in the period July 15 to 25 below Yellowstone Lake. It is not unusual for earthquake clusters to show large, sudden bursts of activity such as the 10-day event at Yellowstone Lake in 2021. The largest swarm in recent years occurred between June and September 2017 when more than 2,400 earthquakes were recorded in the region between Hebgen Lake and Norris Geyser Basin.